Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video of my channel. What is the best IDE for data science? Without any doubt, Spider. In this video, I give you the most important features of Spider, so be sure to stay tuned to don't miss this video. Before we are starting, make sure that Anaconda is installed on your system. I will link a video containing an installation instruction. To start Spider, we have to open up our terminal. Inside here, we are just typing in Spider. And this will take some seconds to open. So you have to be a bit patient. So opening up the first time is even taking some seconds more than normally. And what we are seeing here now is our spider environment. To get an overview here, on the left hand side is our script file and on the right hand side is our shell. We can perform direct executions in the shell. Let's take an example, 5 plus 5 will give us 10. The script is being executed as a whole and is being performed in the shell. So let's take an example, we could also do print 5 plus 5 here and if we execute this we'll get the output of 10 here in the shell. We can actually work on more than one script file at the same time. We just have to open up a new script file here by new file and now we can parallel work between those two script files and you can even add one more if you want. Okay so this is pretty awesome right? But what's even more awesome than that is you can open up an additional shell by clicking this symbol here and then new console. And now we can parallel work on different scripts and even different shells. The script is always executed in the selected shell. So if we have selected console 3 here and printing out stuff like print 5 plus 5 and running this, we are getting the output in this shell. If we are selecting console 1 and running this script, we are getting the output in this shell. Okay. You can, by the way, change that by clicking run and then configuration per file and then check this box here, always show this dialog on a first file run. And then pick execute in a dedicated console and click on OK. Now let's run this again and see what happens. Now pick again, execute in dedicated console and run. And now a new shell is opening where the script is being executed. That's a pretty cool feature, I think. You can also just print out single lines in Spider. So let's take an example for that. We have two lines here, so this is 2 plus 2. And I only want to print out this line here, line 9. This is done by clicking run and then run selection or current line. And then you see we got only the 4. So as a comparison with that, we got both line if we are running this whole script here. Okay, so another example, line eight, mark this line and then click run, run selection or current line. And then you are getting the 10 here. So that's pretty awesome as well, right? You can also print out only certain areas of your script. So let's take an example for that. Let's print out four plus four here. And now I only want to print out those two lines here or this area of the script. And this is done by specifying the area and this is done by hashtag and two percentage signs. And now you are noticing this line here, this gray line. And now if I'm choosing this part of my script, I can pick run and then run cell. Okay. And this is giving me as expected the 10 and the four. So only these are being executed. And if I'm choosing this area here, and click on run and then run cell again. I'm just getting the 8 for the 4 plus 4. That's pretty awesome if you are working with huge scripts. So this will help you a lot. For the next feature, let's open up a new script file. And I'm assigning a wrong value to x here. So I'm assigning nothing to x. And as you see, we're getting an error message before we are even running the script. So Spider has an integrated debugger. And this is very, very helpful. Next awesome feature, auto-completion. Let's take an example for that. Let's define a function here with a really long name. Check this out, please. And just use pass here. Now I want to call this function and I would have a really hard time typing this all down, right? So if I'm starting typing this down, I'm getting this suggestion to autofill this. So if I'm clicking that or click the tabulator, this is being autofilled. So this is saving you a lot of time. Next important feature, the variable explorer. Let's define some variables here. So let's define x as 1, 
y as a string like hello, z as a boolean, true, and let's execute this. And now we are clicking this variable explorer and this is really really awesome. So we are getting all the stored values of all variables here. So for x1, for y hello, for z true and also we are getting the type of the variable and the size. So what does size mean? So for example if this would be a tuple, so if I'm executing that again I'm getting a size of 2 here, right? So this is the length of the item. This is very, very useful and will save you, again, a lot of time. Last but not least, and maybe the most important feature in Spider, visualizing stuff. So let's define two lists here, just taking one, two, three, four, five. And for Y, we're taking like any numbers here. And now we're actually needing matplotlib here. I could have prepared that beforehand, sorry for that. And now we are just plotting these. So let's run that. And now click plots. And now as you see, we are getting the plot. And the cool thing here is, if I'm taking a new plot here, so if I'm just using, for example, yeah, what can we take? Let's just take plt bar here and run this again. And then we're getting a bar chart, but the old plot is still there, okay? So you're having an overview here. That's pretty, pretty nice. So let's take another one and execute that. And as you see, we are, we are having a really great overview of our plots here, right? Yeah, and that's pretty much it. I hope I could convince you, Spider being the best ID for data science. I'm really looking forward to your opinion on that, so please comment on the video. If this was helpful for you, please subscribe to this channel. You're helping me a lot with that. And I thank you very much for watching in the end, and I'm looking forward to seeing the upcoming videos. Bye-bye.